three, four. Hi folks, this is Ziggy. Nice to see you again. Nice to have you here with me today with a rapid lick, yeah? A simple one, but uh, I think it's good to warm up and you can use it in every solo that you play. Um, it's, sim it's simply like, it, it goes like this. Here you start on the 5th fret on the D string and play chromatically up to the 7th fret. And then you have the 5th fret on the G string, down up all the time, back to the 7th fret on the D string, and then from the E string, chromatically you go to the 7th fret of the G string. I play very slowly for you. Let's listen with a playback. If you want to, you can play it back can play it like this. Way up. Way down. Let me give it a try. This is new for me, the way down, and uh, I can show you, hopefully, to play it along the playback. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it goes the way it goes. Um, give me a little bit of time, but maybe it's good for you to practice this too. I sometimes have difficulties in keeping the plaque between thumb and uh, forefinger, and these days I tend to to move my thumb in a in a way that the plectrum can hit the um, string in a 90 degrees angle and. Uh, well, when I play very fast, I can do it like this, but you see, I think it is important, in my opinion, that your thumb doesn't move too much. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you like it and uh, hope to see you again. Bye-bye.